Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. I don't know why it seems so close. Oh, wait. oh no, it's closer than that. All right. Hey, Scorpio, welcome to your reading. I got messages for you. These messages may or may not resonate. Take with it and leave the rest. Let me just uh, pull the camera up a little bit. So that way we good. All right. So let's, let's tap in and see what's going on. Let's get all up in the energy. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, allow me to give Scorpio the messages that they need to hear right now. I feel like, yes, if you want to know if somebody's a liar, Scorpio, yes, they're a liar. Just period. That's the answer to your question. Some of y'all may want to know, like, man, is this motherfucker lying to me? Yes, they're lying to you. They're lying. All right, so that was just what I needed to say. Okay, so let's get some messages for you. Yeah, this could be like a, a karmic cycle or somebody's lying saying that they have ended a karmic cycle with someone. It's a lie, okay? Or somebody here is like struggling. We got communication. You could be having communication come towards you or somebody wants to compromise. They want to work it out or they want some type of forgiveness so that way they can go on a vacation or maybe somebody wants to travel to you that has been from at a distance from you, Okay. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors of my highest good, protect me as I give these messages. Anybody sending any negative energy towards me, it shall be returned to sender immediately. We have confession. Someone has to tell you something, or there is some type of confession that um, someone has to make. This may hurt you, or I feel like somebody needs to find out more information and don't overwork yourself about a confession, possibly about a love spill that a liar lied about. Okay, so somebody possibly have lied about doing a love spell, and I feel like somebody's health could be taking a toll from this love spell, okay? Hmm. We have no. Not It's not the right time. It's not the right time to overwork yourself because a fire sign could be lying about being intimate with someone of the same sex. Or they're trying to, okay, it don't even have to be about the same sex, but somebody's still trying to figure out if they should move in with their partner. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody's trying to figure out, or this water sign could be like still figuring themselves out if they want to be in a commitment with the same sex. So what is the confession? Let's see. What's the confession, Spirit Guides? Something here about Mercury Retrograde. Somebody wants to review something, or this could have been something here that could have happened last Mercury retrograde. Somebody wants to confess because their intuition told them, like, if they should just give it time, they're going to find out the truth, or they could be manifesting the truth. Yeah, to see if somebody's really a gold digger. So, somebody could be like trying to see, like, if a person is really like a gold digger. So, they're like, hmm, there could be some issues with communication, or whatever this confession is, is going to like hurt someone. Okay, Scorpio, somebody here could be like using their intuition about somebody's health. Yeah, because they're still trying to figure themselves out. But like maybe somebody here is like, I don't know. We have health and sexuality. Mm. Sexual health could be. Yeah, somebody's sexual health. <sighs> Maybe somebody compromised their sexual health. Don't know. Yeah, somebody could have went on the same, um, went on a vacation possibly with the same sex, or somebody's trying to figure out if they should travel or move with the person. They're like, hmm, I don't know if I should travel and move with, with my person or whatever, or I don't know. But somebody here could be rushing towards you. It could be a Gemini or a Virgo. What is the messages here? Like, um, somebody could be speaking out about someone also hiding something or trying to stuff their stuff themselves as well. Let's see. We have the nine of cups, Pisces energy. So compromise, forgive and work it out. This is what somebody wishes. Like, or they're confident that you will compromise with them or you will forgive them. Or maybe this is someone here that's selfish. Three of Swords. Yeah, confession. This is an ex-lover. It could be a Libra that has a confession. Somebody possibly has something to tell you. 
this could have been like something here about a third party or somebody here that have broke up with someone or somebody has broke up with their ex and this could be like due to a love trunk. I feel like somebody wants to admit that they've been cheating on you this whole time. Because the third party, the three of swords is here. Somebody wants to admit like, oh, I've been cheating on you or it was, it was just for money or something like that. Yeah, we have the four of pentacles. Somebody's trying to hold back some information from you. And no, it's not the right time. Cancer Pisces energy because there's still secrets, illusions, and lies and mysteries here. Something here is just not the right time because something here could be an illusion. It could be with a Cancer or a Pisces. So you need to trust your intuition when it has to do with a lover. So if you're not... So say like if you were supposed to move forward with a lover and there's always some type of setbacks. The reason why it's setbacks is because it's just... You don't know something. The moon here, something here is being hidden from you with the moon card. Something here is being hidden. Maybe you have gotten clarity in your dreams. Don't know. We're going to pull some more cards. But there's some type of clarity that you're possibly going to receive about a lover you've been thinking about. Yeah, like I said, this is about to come out. You're about to receive some type of clarity here about someone. The five of pentacles or this could be about somebody's health. They could be healing. This is why they're like staying away. We have the star card. So this could have been somebody heal is healing from some sickness here. The five of pentacles is going into the star. Somebody is literally healing. Mm. What's the nine of cups? Or they're hoping that something doesn't come out. What's the nine of cups? So the nine of cups, somebody here is compromising or they're getting their wish to compromise with someone. But it's like, what's the nine of cups? The strength card. So like holding back or control. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody is, is getting their wish when it has to do with forgiveness, working something out, or power, strength, and control here, or persuading someone to, like, I don't know. <laughs> but somebody has the power or the control to, like, compromise, forgive, or, or work something out here. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Somebody here is in their head about an offer, the Eight of Swords, because... I feel like somebody here, hmm, the Knight of Cups is going into the Eight of Swords. So this could be like an offer that's going to put somebody in their head about how they've been hateful or how they've been trying to discriminate against someone. Yeah, somebody here is being very like creative and romantic. And it's like how sweet they are is putting somebody in their head like, man, I didn't have to be like that towards this person or I didn't have to be mean. Like, so let me just, man, I'm, I'm just going to go and just move away from that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to like act oblivious or whatever. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Pisces. What's the strength card? So somebody's like persuading someone to hold back. Yeah, it could be an organization. They're like, man, hold back. Don't do that. Um, Actually, just like just leave it alone because I feel like, yeah, we have the five of swords and the eight of swords. Somebody is in their head about some type of discrimination here. So somebody could be, um, you could be like working it out with, uh, with your cup, with a person, or you could be working it out within the marriage here with your person. Okay. You could be, um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo or a Pisces. Yeah, so I feel like somebody's gonna have morals or they're gonna have like they're gonna stand up and have morals and integrity and they're gonna do what's right. Like, nah, actually this isn't right at all. Yeah, so somebody's like, Yeah, we're just gonna leave that alone. What's the what's the hierophant? Yeah, the chariot, like I said, cancer energy, somebody's just gonna do what's right and they're gonna move forward and they're gonna ghost the whole situation about work. And somebody here is gonna have victory here because they're releasing an attachment. So we have Cancer Taurus energy and we have um, Leo and Pisces. Somebody's actually going to move forward or they're going to just like, they're determined to move forward, possibly in another direction. They're going to ghost whatever situation this is in regards to work. This could be in regards to somebody's work here with the Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody's investigating somebody's work or they're trying to like, seek some type of enlightenment and when they do they get victory the six of wands or they win or or whatever but yeah that's what i'm seeing yeah the ten of cups happiness the ten of cups the four of wands somebody's going to celebrate because i feel like somebody could be changing their perspective 
And it could be like trying to compare certain situations here, possibly between a Sagittarius and a Lion Aquarius. Yeah, and I feel like somebody's getting justice. Could be a Libran or you have Libran placements. What's this Three of Swords? We have the Eight of Cups. So an ex is walking away, leaving you, or you're leaving this ex, or you're escaping this person. Or maybe somebody's going towards their ex, or they're going right towards a heartbreak or a betrayal. Now, with the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups, maybe you're leaving an ex-lover behind or you're abandoning this person. Maybe you want change or or whatever. But I feel like after some type of compromising, working it out, I mean, then somebody confesses like, well, this is what I did. Hmm. What's the Eight of Cups, Three of Swords? <laughs> So there's a breakup here. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse because somebody did something impulsively. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Pisces, a Libra, or you could have these significant placements. Somebody did something that was very unpredictable and now they're leaving someone. They could be a bit violent, okay, scatterbrained, or somebody just doesn't have any direction. They could be unfocused. Like this could be an ex-lover. Maybe somebody cheated or they did something very careless with the ex-lover and they want to confess this to you. Okay, or somebody could have went on and like did some type of act of violence. Um, predictable. Yeah, somebody did something unpredictable. Like I said, unpredictable with the five of wands. Scorpio, I don't know. This could have been somebody starting an argument. Oh, they could have been starting some shit here because they're disorganized and scattered here. This could be within a two of cups dynamic or a soulmate. Whoever this is, they're disorganized. This person could have a record. You could be dealing with somebody that's crazy as hell. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? Somebody that has no direction, no nothing at all. The Five of Cups, yeah, coming out of this person's recovery. Or somebody wants to accept things just for the way it is. Like, well, I'm no longer grieving or I'm no longer upset about you cheating. It is what it is, man. I, I don't even care no more. So I feel like somebody is forgiving something or forgiving. Maybe you could be forgiving someone here. This is your energy. The Five of Cups is usually you. You could be forgiving a Pisces, a Gemini, or a Libra. And for something that they did that was very unpredictable or impulsive. Somebody here could have been like a follower here. Or they did something. What did they do impulsive? The Queen of Wands. Oh, somebody was a hoe. Or they were very selfish, or they were a bully, or they were very insincere. This is someone here that was literally supposed to have, like, power or in the upright. Or they possibly did magic on you. This could be a fire sign. Somebody did something very, like, yeah. I, I mean, somebody was very jealous and insecure when they did this. Or they were mad. So they probably cheated on you. This is like somebody here wanted to get back at you for something here. Yeah, they wasn't even thinking. They wasn't even in their right mind. I feel like somebody told them, like, well, just go and cheat on that person. And they did it anyway, like like a dumbass. <laughs> What's the Queen of Wands in reverse? The Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, so somebody could have attacked someone. Or they could have been, like, somebody's, like, like, trying to protect, like, a karmic yeah, so this is someone that's defending someone that's being hateful with the Five of Swords. Somebody's defending somebody from being hateful. Or this is like a hateful person that's like jealous, they're insecure, or they like to bully other people. This could be like a woman that likes to bully other people. And then there's other energies that could be like, or maybe somebody's slut shaming someone. Yeah, so somebody here is like slut shaming someone or this is someone here that likes to attack other people. But at the same time, they want people to protect them and they're the hoe. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm getting with the seven of wands, queen of wands. This is someone here that's literally a hoe, but they try to go and attack everybody else. They're the real hoe, the cheater, the liar, Scorpio. That's what they are. They're the cheater, the liar, the whore. They're manipulative. And, and then they go and... Talk about other people that's hoes and manipulators and liars, or they try to project this energy onto other people here. But they're the ones that's the biggest hoe, the, the one that's aggressive, the one that's insecure, the one that's demanding and jealous here. The Queen of Wands in reverse is someone here that's not confident. They're not a good business person. They're just like they're they're evil witch. Like it's kind of like the 
they use men to get what they want, like type energy here, but then they attack everybody else or they got to like something here about um, maintaining some type of control. This is like an energy that will have like a whole bunch of friends and these friends will vouch for this person being a whole 15, 15. They will vouch for this person being a whole or whatever, but yet they're trying to have like some type of relationship or they want to be treated like uh, equally or they want to be treated fair, like a wife or, you know what I mean? They want to be taken care of, but they out here doing whole activities, you know? So this is someone here that's like empty. They have a whole bunch of friends that's like, somebody here is being attacked though. Mm -hmm. so this could be a backfire maybe somebody tried to attack someone that possibly was not a whore and yeah justice is being served to an ace of cups and now somebody here is being attacked or they're being looked at as the queen of wands in reverse as somebody here that's insecure this is why they go and attack people because they're really really insecure and now it's like them saying you know how they say the saying goes when um be careful who you point your finger at point fingers at because you can always have like 10 more fingers pointing back at you or something this is someone here that was pointing fingers at an energy 16 16 and now it's like she it's like six more fingers pointing back at this energy like nah but it's you though like you the one like so yeah so this energy could have been being attacked look and now they feel like they're the subject of gossip like everybody is talking about them like damn now i'm being looked at as a whole i'm being looked at as this as selfish i'm being selfish i'm being looked at as a karmic or a bully or aggressive like this person is really really having nightmares about people attacking them they're scared their their reputation could be being ruined right now with the queen of wands and reverse it's like man they don't have no respect for themselves they attack they, this is the type of person that attack other women yeah they're not a, a, a they're not a girl's girl like they don't they're not a protector of women actually they're very jealous what's the nine of swords so now that they're scared yeah because they want they want to come in with an offer with the nine of cups they want to be romance they want to be um or they wish that you would come in with an offer somebody's worried about some type of offer here that's going towards someone we have the emperor and eight of wands the emperor talking to who? Mm, the, oh, somebody's worried about this emperor playing mind games or this emperor hating them. Mm hmm Yep. Because something here about this ace of cups has been exposed. About how jealous someone was of the somebody's new uh, love or their new, um, new emotional beginning here. Yeah. Somebody was very jealous because someone loved in another energy. So they tried to attack this person and call him a hoe. Oh, wait, what's the four of pentacles? <laughs> the four of pentacles is the queen of cups. So the queen of cups could be holding back or maybe somebody here need, doesn't need to like, they need to find out more information and don't overwork themselves. Who is the queen of cups here? The queen of cups is the knight of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here that's unstable or that they're unreliable. Hmm. This could be a Cancer, a Virgo energy. Why is the Queen of Cups the Knight of Pentacles here? This person could have like gambling issue, gambling addictions here. Something here has slowed down like tremendously. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody here that's superficial or somebody's trying to find out information to see if this Queen of Cups is superficial here. Or, or are they materialistic? Something here is being slowed down for them. Why? Why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for the Queen of Cups? Because of illusions or something here that they caused. Somebody here was trying to cause some type of illusions or confuse people. This is why this cancer is being slowed down. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. This is why this energy is like being slowed down because somebody tried to cause an illusion like someone wasn't like innocent or they tried to, yeah, what's the seven of cups? <laughs> This is an energy confusing a lot of people here, confusing a lot of friends, and then they go and laugh. Now they're being rejected or they're being looked at like, man, like the same people that they were laughing with now, like secretly, like they're like, man, we know about you. Like we know you're trying to betray this person or somebody's been trying to betray a high priestess or badmouth the high priestess, somebody that's very intuitive. They know what's going on because this person has gotten a lot of information. They've got information overload here. 
Yeah, so now there's trouble coming out about said person that tried to cause this illusion. What's the Seven of Cups? Yeah, the Nine of Cups. So now this energy wants to come in, like propose some type of offer. This could be a lot of options. A lot of people coming in to propose an offer. Nine of Cups, Page of Wands is good news. Somebody wants to give to you. Or somebody wants to give to this Aries or this messenger. With the page of wands, it's usually a messenger. Or somebody wants to give something to their child. Or what's the Knight of Cups and the page of wands? Yeah, because I feel like somebody has gotten a lot of information to see how they can cause somebody a delay or to make something like take a while. So I feel like somebody has gotten a lot of clarity as to what something said. This could be like word of mouth. The page of wands is usually like a messenger, word of mouth that goes and like tell people things, okay? What's the two of swords in reverse? Yeah, the page of pentacles. This could be about money or how somebody could like, I don't know. Somebody's learning about the two of cups or maybe somebody's learning about a relationship or to see why somebody's holding back from a soulmate. Because the Queen of Cups possibly wants to take a risk to this Nine of Pentacles energy. But the Nine of Pentacles energy could be going to, or, or chasing that bag. This Nine of Pentacles is chasing the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a scholar here or there's a, a messenger here. This could be like news about money. Somebody's about to get good news about money. What's the page of Pentacles? Or somebody's trying to figure out a way how they could get money by manipulation. Yeah, by binding someone. The Magician, the Eight of Swords, the King of Swords. Somebody's trying to get money by binding someone. Mm-hmm. Whoever this magician is, they could be in their head. Could be a Gemini specifically, or it could be just an air sign. This person could be in their head about this group that could have been working together to lie with the Queen of Swords in reverse. This group could have been working together, or this Queen of Swords could have went to this group to lie on someone here. Mm. To get money. Or to get something here because the Page of Pentacles, this is like good news and earthly matters. Mm. What's the moon card? Or well, somebody here has gotten a lot of information through tarot because the divination, that could be divination as well. Somebody has gotten a lot of information through tarot. What's the Four of Pentacles here? Now somebody here is holding back because they have a lot of secrets. What's the Four of Pentacles? The Star Aquarius. So an Aquarius is holding back or somebody's like trying to hold back until they heal something. That's why it's not the right time because they're trying to hold back. And then they want to come rush in and reconcile with the Six of Cups. What's the star card? You could be dealing with an Aquarius that, that could be holding back. Yeah, the lover. Somebody's lover is like literally holding back or somebody's holding back because they're in love with a, an Aquarius. Or they love this Aquarius. Or they're holding on to this Aquarius. That's why it's not the right time because this is who somebody's in love with or... I don't know. They just have love for this Aquarius or somebody loves somebody's naked body or somebody here could be in a spotlight. They don't even have to be in this Aquarius here. So they're sneaking off or somebody's trying to be strategic about going towards this lover here. What's the seven of swords? Mm -hmm. The seven of pentacles. Yeah, seven, seven could be a warning. The high priestess, the eight of swords, the ace of swords. We have the seven. Somebody here is plotting. They're planning. Okay, to invest elsewhere. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, with this Nine of Pentacles, with a Virgo. Okay, or with this single energy. Somebody's planning to invest with this Virgo energy. Maybe because they're self-sufficient. They're, I don't know. They're independent. Somebody wants this independent Nine of Pentacles energy. And I feel like there's an energy that's worried that they're going to get ghosted. The Nine of Swords could be a Gemini or this could be another Virgo, an older Virgo that's worried that they're going to get ghosted for this Nine of Pentacles energy that's self-sufficient, that's abundant, or this is someone here that could be just minding their own business. Yeah, somebody here has like a, a this could be like their Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, or... You could have significant Virgo placements. Don't know. Somebody here is the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles here. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants to go towards this person. To build longevity or to build like... I don't 
know, man. But there's someone here that's in regret. I don't know if this made a lick of sense. Scorpio, but, but there's someone that's worried that they're going to get ghosted. So maybe their intu intuition told them, like, man, you going to ghost me for this person? I don't know, Scorpio. Yeah, you're going to block me to have victory with somebody else. I know you've been comparing us. Somebody's been comparing love offers, like comparing their feelings. Like, man, how do I feel about this person? Okay, so can I have victory with them? Somebody has been comparing lovers, they have. Or a love offer, they're like, hmm, would I be able to work together with this person? So a group dynamic or three of pentacles could be betraying someone. Or somebody's learning how to betray someone. Because somebody was comparing lovers, like, hmm, I don't know if I want to be with this person or that person. And then someone's like, well, let's go and betray this person. Somebody has been trying to block somebody's victory moment or block their success. The seven of wands, the six of, and they could have been trying to do this, like, all the time. They could have been managing it 24-7 to block somebody's success or their victory or to block someone from having an ace of cups with someone. So they work together with this group, the three of pentacles, to badmouth someone or to cause an abrupt ending, ten of swords. And they're like, well, this, this, this is someone here that's learning how to betray someone or how to cause an ending, like, because somebody has love for a person, they want to be compassionate. This is like new feelings. They're like, or this could be someone here that's loving somebody that they work with or they fell in love with somebody that they work with. Or they have feelings for somebody they work with here. But we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Somebody's getting their wish. Mm. Mm -hmm. What is the messages in closing here? Yeah, somebody is about to experience a loss as soon as I split the deck. Yeah, somebody is losing. Okay, when it comes to their ancestors or somebody took a loss and now somebody's an ancestor now. Or this is like something here, they're losing. Sorrow, risky, decline, decrease, losing someone, losing self, dead end situation, no go, financial struggles, breaking up, blind to the actions that hurt people. This is someone that don't care about hurting nobody. Something from the past to incorporate into your life, fear of aging, breaking generational curses, wise decision, running out of time. Somebody here has lost on this journey, I feel like somebody's ancestors is not pleased with them. Scorpio, somebody's ancestors is like, yeah, nah, we ain't fucking with you. Somebody lost their ancestor or they lost their ancestors from whatever this is that they did. We have attached to someone or something, secret sexual gratification, hooked into something that may or may not be beneficial, hooked on vexing difficulty, setting yourself free, getting caught. So somebody has gotten caught. Or they got caught doing something. I don't know. Yeah, facade, lying on someone or being two-faced. Somebody got caught being two-faced or somebody got caught in a lie. What was the facade? What was the lie? What was the lie? That somebody, oh, somebody said they didn't want to reunite. A player, somebody was like, oh, I don't want to reunite with that person. But they're actually sick. And feeling of being trapped in a prison, limitation, and loneliness, feeling loss of freedom, feeling of guilt or shame, and stop punishing. Somebody's sick about what they did to their soulmate. So somebody could be getting a tea about somebody's soulmate. And there's a conversation. Yeah. Because somebody here is in competition with the energy. So let's make them have a tower. Wow. So that way we can get a gift from them or we could have them to give them gifts or something like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody was like being two-faced here. Yep, a soldier wants to do equal give and take. Somebody doesn't want to be in and out. Give me the reunion. Somebody's burdened by a reunion. Or they're indecisive. What's the reunion? Yeah, somebody's jealous that somebody wants to reunite, Scorpio. Fear, and it's, then they're scared. It's like, man, they're, they're losing someone. They're like, man, I don't want to lose this person. So give me this jealousy. Yeah, a jealous mother. Or somebody's jealous because somebody's more feminine. They're nurturing and compassionate. Okay, they can lean on this person. 
or either somebody here is like jealous because maybe somebody here is pregnant a karmic give me the jealous woman yeah that somebody's actually faithful Positive results, passing the test, being strong and consistent, loyalty, generosity, protection, good intentions help move you forward, having faith in the process. Somebody's jealous because somebody here is like literally protected here, Scorpio. And they're desperate to communicate with someone, but there's no communication at all. I don't know. Either somebody's jealous because somebody wants to reunite. I don't know, Scorpio. This is kind of like, um, this is, this is juicy. Yeah, we have a Pisces woman as soon as I split the deck. Give me a couple cards here for Scorpio. Let's end this reading. We have dark circles, malnourished, drained from doing magic. Somebody here is looking really, really sick. So you think it's over? Okay, yeah, watch this, but it was in reverse. Okay, so I feel like something could be over. And it says, I know you're tired of my shit. They never believed in you. Now they're wishing they would have. Somebody didn't believe in someone. Now they're wishing they would have. Yeah, because I feel like somebody's looking real sick right now. We have ages 50 to 60. There's a Taurus woman that's receiving instant karma. This person could be from ages 50 to 60. And keep your moves private. Something here. What's going on? Give me a card for ages 50 to 60 here. An emperor. Could be a Sagittarius that's recovering from a sickness or an ailment i told you somebody was sick here that's why it's not the right time okay we have jupiter something here is like real big something here is like um whatever this is it's, it's expanding because jupiter talks all about expansion so whatever this 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 is this could be the father of your kids this this could be an Aries and a Sagittarius that's recovering some type from some type of ailment here. This could be an older masculine or whoever, but we've seen it. Recovering from a sickness or an ailment. Whoever this is, they vape, they smoke weed, they could smoke black and miles, or they're just a smoker, period. There's a karmic air sign under judgment here, and people have evidence from an Aries man, or an Aries man has evidence that someone tried to unalive someone at their home. We have a Sagittarius man that could be your soulmate or this person literally loves you. They're pure and somebody's stalking you. A Gemini man. And I feel like the, yeah, the, the divine has intervened with this when it has to do with your sister as well. Mm -hmm. Well, Scorpio, listen, I hope you was able to find some messages in here. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos and until next time, Scorpio. Bye-bye.